Hello and welcome to YGCBD. I am Jenny. We all know that in these days of rapidly changing technology, new construction materials will be frequently introduced and incorporating them into our cost breakdown system is very important. Today I will show you how easy it is to introduce a new type of material into the database of YGCBD. You are not expected to write any formulas or create links. The new item will be automatically linked to the cost analysis system and will be available for unit price calculation, material list preparation, etc. In this illustration video, we will see how we can add the information for a new material named ABC Admixture in the material database and use it to modify the unit price of C30 concrete. We will also prepare material list from an example bill of quantity, which includes C30 concrete with admixture and other substructure work items. The data input page is the first window which appears after we have provided basic project information and clicked the continue button. It includes material, crew, and machinery databases. Double-clicking anywhere in the material name column will launch a dialog box. To add the concrete admixture, we will select go to last line and type the category, the material name, the measurement unit, and finally the unit cost. Note that the category number of one will help us sort the new material with the other concrete related materials. Now that concrete admixture is registered in the materials database, the next thing to do is to include it in the appropriate cost breakdown sheet. To do this, we first go to the Unit Price List page. Then we select C30 Concrete from the Concrete Works Group and simply click on the name to open the relevant cost breakdown page. When we select a free cell under the Materials column, a dialog box pops up with the list of all materials registered in the Data Input page. Since the admixture has been given a category number of 1, we locate it accordingly. And click Use Material button to register the material name, measurement unit, and its unit cost. We will finally enter the amount of admixture to be used per meter cube of concrete and finish the modification of the unit price for C30 concrete. The unit price will automatically update if there is any change in the costs of relevant inputs. We may also change the work item title to show the inclusion of the admixture. Lastly, let us see how this change in the cost breakdown assumption is integrated in material list preparation. To begin with, we need to open the material estimator page. This is the place where we record the work items for which material list is to be prepared. Double clicking on a cell in the work items column launches the organizer dialog box. Every time we select a work item, it is automatically registered. Then we enter the quantities and click the prepare material list button.
We can see that the admixture is listed as per the material usage assumptions we fed in the cost breakdown page. That is all I have for today. We will look at other features of YGCBD in the next video. Thank you for your time. Bye for now.